The second verse of the book of Habakkuk says, How long, Lord, must I call for help, but you do not listen? Or cry out to you violence, but you do not save? There are so many places in our life where we feel like we call out to God, and then we don't get the answer that we want, and we're like, all right, God, where are you? Even when we pray, which are the words that we say to God, we call out to him, we say, come on, God, let's handle this. And many times it's because we want things fixed our way, and when they're not done our way, we have to step back and say, okay, either one of two things. One, God, you're not listening. Or number two, God doesn't want to do this the way that I want to do it. Now that's difficult at times. But did you know that there are three answers to any prayer or anything that we say to God? The answers are yes, which we can see right away. The answers are no, which we can see right away. Or the answer could be looked at as, nah, not quite yet, just hold on for a second because something's coming that not even you can see. Personally, in my life, I know where I've been, where many times I've called out and said, come on, God, you have to handle this. Why is it you're not listening? And I feel as though he is silent, but at the same time, I have to rest in the fact that he is not absent. And at the end of the day, I have to rest in him. Man, is that difficult. Are there areas in your life where you found that to be difficult? Are there areas right now where you just feel like God is not listening? You have to know that God is still there and He is in control. We'll dive more into this tomorrow because there's even more that God's not doing for us, isn't there? Well, we'll see.